Hi Pisces, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your monthly for November 2016. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I do say it all the time. I absolutely love doing this for you guys. Um, and I really, those of you that I've done private readings for, you know, that have trusted me with that, truly, I, I thank you so much for that. Those of you that would like a private reading with me, my contact info will be below the video. Um, two weeks, week and a half. I, I, I get them out faster than I say, but... Um, so, let me say this for my new subscribers. If this reading does not resonate with you at all, you could look at your moon, your rising sign. Um, you could find that information at cafeastrology.com. It literally takes 30 seconds. Take what resonates with you from this reading. Leave what doesn't. And also, too, there's no gender. Man, man, woman, woman, I don't care. It's, a, you know, private readings. Absolutely, it matters. General does not. It's whoever it is for you. All right, Pisces. Oh, it's actually perfect. I prayed over your cards for love, wealth, health, happiness, career, finances. It's always my prayer over the cards. Okay, we're doing the Celtic cross spread, same as always. Current current situation, the Three of Swords. What's crossing you? The Ten of Wands, challenging you. At the base of the reading, Page of Swords. In the past, wow, the sun. Doesn't matter how bad the reading looks, the sun shines over the entire reading and we did not even clarify anything yet. And wow, the Ace of Swords in the present at the top of the reading. Beautiful. Future, whoa, the Two of Cups. Oh, wow, Pisces. Wow, sorry, I am using all right, let me tell you, let's get the rest of your cards out. How you see yourself, the Queen of Swords. Environment and people around you, Major Arcana. You have two Major Arcana cards, the Sun and now the Wheel of Fortune. Highly spiritual cards, universe trying to tell you something, promote something, make you aware of something in your life. Hopes and fears, the Ten of, Pen the Ten of Cups. Sorry about that. I'm excited for you guys. Wow. Okay, the outcome is the Five of Pentacles. We're going to pull another card on that. Page of Wands. It's all good news. Oh, okay. So I am using the... Um, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have this ready for you. Okay, you're there. I am using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot. Three cards, Dorian Virtue, and um, I did not pull them yet, but we will. And one card from Messages from Your Angels, also by Dorian Virtue. Okay. So, now, the Three of Swords is definitely an ending, a separation. It's, you know, in the present position. You know, it's also maybe just, you know, your partner just being at a distance right now. I do, um, you know, it, it is it is a card of, it is the Libra card, but, you know, it doesn't have to be. Um, it's a card of discovering the painful truth. It's heartbreak, it's emotional pain. You know, it represents, you know, betrayal, abandonment, rejection, separation, endings. And that's what I, you know, I just feel like there's a separation here. And, I mean, 
have two tens here. Completion, end of a cycle, the beginnings. You have the two of cups. That's a soulmate relationship for me. And that holds a lot of weight. That's in the future position. You know, so, I mean, I'm going to try to make it as general as I possibly can. But like I said, if it doesn't resonate with you, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I will be. I mean, the world, the wheel of fortune has got to resonate with everybody. So does the Ten of Cups. I mean, it's just, um, you know, and I also, you know, you know, especially in this deck, you know, you could see it so clearly in the Three of Swords. You know, yeah, it's definitely devastating. It's hard for it's 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 emotional. I mean. It's painful. It would have to be. I mean, there's three swords piercing through your heart. And that's always... Nothing hurts more than that, than... The loss of a child, God forbid. I mean, aside from that, that's... That's love and relationships for me. But, you know, on the bright side of the card, the storm is passing. You know, the sky is getting clearer, and so is your future by the looks of the rest of your cards. Okay. But what's crossing you is the Ten of Wands. So, fire element. Usually Sagittarius. But Aries, Leo. It's a card of burdens, responsibilities. Carrying too much weight on your shoulders. You know, especially those of you that multitask. Um, I just feel like... You know, whatever it, whatever this situation is, whatever this ending is, you know, it was, you know, maybe somebody not putting in just hard work. You know, this ending needed to be done. It needed to be happened. This separation. Um, because it was too much of a burden at the time, you know. But, in, you know, at the base of the reading, okay, we have the Page of Swords, okay? Now, this is, you know, a card of, you know, messages, you know, like all the pages, but I just, um, feel like you are analyzing the problem, you know, developing ideas or a plan And acting honestly, you know, and acting honestly, you know, doing what's right, you know, being truthful, speaking directly is what is, is what is going to bring you to this. You know, I mean, some of you could be too, just, being just. You know, it is a card too of contracts and, um, You know, contracts being signed and, you know, someone bringing you, you know, useful information regarding the contracts that could be coming your way. You know, with the Ace of Swords here, the Ten of Cups, I mean, I do feel like if you're trying to Move. I know that would reference more the Ten of Pentacles, but 
I, I do feel that. I, I don't know if it's because of the sun, but, and the Wheel of Fortune, but I do kind of feel that way. But in this relationship, I think really you being, you know, the true soft self that you guys are, you know, your water signs, you're emotional, but you've kept it together. I think that's what's going to bring back what you lost. I mean, the sun is the most positive card in the deck. The Major Tarot. I mean, it's my favorite card. I mean, look how bright the sun is shining on this card. In relationships, it blooms under the sun. Your relationships grow. You could even take a trip together. There's enlightenment. You know, it's vitality, assurance. You know, you have unlimited energy and glow. With, you know, your health is good. There's a greatness about you. You know, you stand out brilliantly. You understand that everything is happening for a reason. And within your sphere, it's... You know, you're finding sense behind this chaos... Really, all this chaos in the past, you're you're making this. I don't, it doesn't even matter for me where this card falls. It, it's the sun. I mean, and and followed, you know, in the present with the Ace of Swords, you know, oh, new beginnings. Okay, it's it's success, decisions. You know, it's. You know, seeing things clearly, an understanding, seeds that have been planted in your life in the past are now ready to, they're ready to be recognized. I mean, the energy of this ace and whatever you are trying to manifest is working for you. You know why? Because of the clean, sharp edges on it. You know, you're, you are... Your calmness and your greatness, I feel like, is, is, is bringing you to where you want to be, which is right here. Water element, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So if there was a separation three months ago, three weeks ago, I mean, even three years ago. Um, I went, well, not really that far back, but it's been a long time. You know, and now there's just balance and love partnerships. It could be, it could be, you know, new, deep committed, you know, these two are soulmates. They're drawn together, they're meant to be. I mean, it's joining with another. You know, it's celebrating a marriage, strong friendships, establishing partnerships, working together, sharing. I mean, look at these two. I mean, this is the beauty and the power that is created when these two come together. These two are soulmates. Okay. Beautiful. Queen of Swords. I, I really, this is how you see you got, how you guys see yourselves. Cutting through right through the crap. You're just... She's my no bullshit queen. 
That's it. She really is. She is done. You know, she is... You know, wise. She's astute. She's just ready to cut through the crap and realize, listen, you know, I feel like you're, you're making somebody see that this is what we have, okay? You know, this is what we have. Like, you know, you see yourselves as taking charge. Now in your environment, you have the wheel of fortune. This is changes in direction. It's rapid movement. You know, when the energy of this appears, you know, you feel, you feel like, you know, it is. Your life opens up to, to luck. Things turn around. It's, it's um, you know, um, a chance in fortune. It's a surprise turn of events. Like, it's destiny. Okay, it's destiny, just like these two. Our destiny and the sun is just shining all for you too. And you know, it's also a card that it's unexpected encounters. You know, it's it's a realization with this card. You know, something sticks with somebody with great force. And, you know, if you've been struggling with a problem or a tough situation, you know, you will get the answers that you're looking for. You know, you may really have to stand back and take a, a good hard look at the view, of, you know, the big picture. But it's, 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 there's a surprise, you know, that you don't expect. It's that chance meeting, fate, you know, everything happens for a reason. Um, it's just beautiful energy in your environment. And your hopes and fears, you have the Ten of Cups. You know, which rejection, separation, I feel like, uh, you know, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, maybe ended the relationship or left the marriage. You know, the Two of Cups is union. Maybe, um, you know, you're fearing that this person isn't going to come back to his family or her family, but it is a card of joy, peace, family, abundant blessings, you know, joy that goes beyond it's happiness, contentment. It's time of abundant blessings. You could reach the fulfillment you deserve. It's coming to you, especially with the wheel of fortune here. I think it's coming faster than you think. And you're still feeling hurt, wounded, sad, depressed, feeling left out in the cold. The Five of Pentacles. I do not like that card. But now the Page of Wands I like. This is good news coming. It's communication. Okay, fire element, Aries, Leo, Sag. But... It's bringing you opportunities for passion. You know, a real chance for you to express yourself, you know, especially with any creative ideas, anything, you know, creative that you're thinking about doing. It's, it's you know, right across from this. It's, it's inspiration. That's, it's opening up to you. It's, 
being courageous, being confident. It is a real chance. For you to experience, you know, happiness, creativity, courage, inspiration. Oh, no, all I really want to look at, really, is the Page of Swords, and that's it. King of Cups really wanted to fly out of the deck. And that's exactly how I feel about it, too. That's it. I mean, he is... Um, you know, Scorpio, typically. But Pisces, Cancer... So this person is a water element for you. Or it's you. Anything I say really could go the other way. I mean, it could be... It doesn't even matter. I feel like... <sighs> okay. You know, I feel like right now... Okay, maybe... You know, some of you guys are struggling having hard times with the Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords. You know, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups. You know, that's family ties, that's connections. There was definitely a rejection, a separation. There's lack of support from this person. But I feel very strongly that this person is coming back. He's charismatic, he's warm-hearted. He's a businessman, you know, and there's definitely a need to settle a conflict. You know, some of you maybe just need to follow your intuition with this card. But I think whoever this person is, is going to do the same thing. And he's going to come back with an offering. That he wants his family back. It doesn't necessarily, you know, have to be married. I mean, you guys could be, have just been, you know together but I do feel like if there was a separation or a breakup and you've worked hard to bring this back together you're going to succeed at that and it's going to happen fast there's movement there's definitely movement this month maybe some of you take the initiative even if you really don't feel like it, it's possible. Let's see what your love cards say. Like, just give me a minute.
I'm gonna grab your angel card too while I'm here. Okay, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Playfulness. I just said before, make the initiative to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit to shine and have fun. Flirt. Just send a text. Just my suggestion. The energy is there. Worth waiting for. And divine timing is at work in your love life, guys. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, you have Desiree. No conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. I mean, I don't really feel like, I mean, maybe for some of you, you know, patience is needed. You know, maybe some of you won't take this person back. You'll look at other options. Now you have choices. But singles, really, it's a good month for you to find your soulmate. And those of you that are married and together, like there, if there's just maybe an emotional separation, you're not really separated. I mean, you, you guys are definitely with your soulmates. And really, I mean, the whole month, the sun is shining on you guys. Sun is shining. Two of Cups is in your future. It's beautiful, Pisces. I love it. All right, guys. I hope this reading helped you guys out for the month. Again, thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. You guys really should have a beautiful month. Really. It looks beautiful. If you're looking for a relationship, in one, start in one. It's all new beginnings this month. Creative ideas, your work potential. It's beautiful. Okay, Pisces, again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope all you guys have a blessed day. And I will see you guys back here with the morning oracle cards and the weeklies. Bye-bye.